Okay, so this video is to discuss how to create a mechanical family with clearances. The idea being that in the project environment you want some sort of clearance geometry around a piece of equipment and uh, therefore it'll be great for clash detection and just being able to see the clearances in relationship with other uh, objects within the Revit project, project environment. So the first thing to do here in the project environment, I just have a project open and I placed, a, I think, an air handling unit in here. So here's my air handling unit and I want to show clearances. It's going to require editing the family and it's also going to uh, require doing a little bit here in the project environment. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the Manage tab and go to Materials. And in the Materials dialog, I'm going to duplicate the air material. It's a good one to duplicate here and we're going to call this Clearances. Okay, So I now have a new material called Clearances. Uh, here I will edit the color. Again, you don't have to do this, but you can. Some of this is optional. The transparency, though, really should probably be at 100% because you essentially want the clearance just to indicate space uh, and uh, not solid geometry. Then the surface pattern, let's just go ahead and apply a surface pattern here. You might want to apply a cut pattern as well. Depends on what your general objective is, although generally I would not have a cut pattern for a clearance uh, material. Okay, so once I've got that done, then I'm going to go right over here to Object Styles in the Project Environment. And under Mechanical Equipment in this case, and if you're doing something else like with Structural Framing, you'd want to create a subcategory there. Um, but in this case, we're working with Mechanical Equipment, so I'm going to uh, select it, create a new subcategory called Clearances, and then click OK. And then I'm going to set the line color for the clearances to be red and the line pattern to be something like dashed, whatever makes sense. And also I want to set a default material for the clearances, which will be the clearances material that we were working with earlier. Okay, so there's my new subcategory. All right, so once I've got that done, I'll save my project. And let me just go ahead and put it out here on my desktop so I can find it. And then the next thing to do would essentially uh, create either edit the family or create a new fa mechanical family. In this case, we're going to edit this family. So I'm going to select it, edit the family, take me into the project environment here. And I'll just go to top view here in the 3D. And before I actually start creating the geometry for the clearance, let's do this. Let's go ahead and transfer from the project, the open project that we just created, the subcategory and the material, into this. So I'm going to go to Manage, Transfer Project Standards, and I'll select Check None, and then I'll hit Materials and Object Styles. I want to go ahead and bring those in. If you made any changes to existing materials uh, that are already defined here in the project environment, you may get proposed with the idea of overriding what's here and if you have made changes and you want those reflected in the in the family override otherwise just bring in new only so now I should have under object styles I should have a subcategory clearances with the same properties that I had in the project as well as under materials I should have a material called clearances as well okay that was the whole idea of using transfer project standards now once I've done that I'm going to uh, create uh, the clearance geometry in a normal way We're using the, the tool. So let's just do an extrusion. We'll keep this nice and simple. And we'll create an extrusion around here, and obviously it needs to be some height above my, uh, my geometry, which I, let's just say it's 10 feet, just to go ahead and put it as something. I'll probably change it here in a moment. And we'll change the extrusion here to something like 6 feet. There we go. The idea, I want to show what this is like or what you'll have to do when you're working with a clearance, obviously, that is above the mechanical equipment as well. That's why uh, I, I want to make sure that it completely encompasses the object. So once I've got the form created, then I'll also want to make sure that it is of the proper subcategory because right now, of course, by default, it's going to be part of the mechanical equipment category but I want to make sure it's part of the clearances category. And notice that as soon as I go ahead and change that, everything updates with the, the transparency and everything else to the, to the object. Now, if I go ahead and load this into the project at this point, let's save our family. And again, I'll just put this out on the uh, desktop here and I'll kind of rename it here, EP, and then load it into the project here. And I place it. Okay, you see the object, you also see the clearance around it. However, in plan, 
uh, it obscures the clearance does the the actual object in plan and that's t undesirable for the most part in any other view pretty okay I mean in this view it's okay and in a 3d view and uh, potentially in in an elevation view I think would have the same issue as we had in plan so I go to north you're going to have it obscured so what to do in those situations well basically uh, there's no way to make it transparent in a 2d view uh, this object um, you can go to wireframe view and see it transparently there but a lot of times we don't like to work in wireframe views for a variety of reasons so the the workaround for that would be to go back into the family just do this go back in the family here and I'm gonna go to the 2d views here so I'll go to the reference plan view and um, what we'll do here is we'll select this uh, extrusion I'll go into visibility settings and I'll go ahead and turn it off here and plan in RCP and potentially in the ele elevation views as well uh, depending on again whether I need to see this uh, piece of equipment in elevation and unobscured and so once I do that you know of course then you know I load in the project it'll be unobscured but the uh, the clearance won't be visible either so did that defeat the purpose? Not necessarily because, you know, we need the 3D geometry for clash detection, but for representation of that clearance in a 2D view, what we'll need to do is we'll need to essentially create symbolic line work that is anchored to the extrusion. And that's easy to do. Just go to annotate, place symbolic line work, uh, make sure that it is of the proper subcategory, in this case clearances, and I'm going to just hover and select here for the plan anyway and you could do this in the elevation views as well we're just going to do it in the plan view keep this brief but you do the same thing in the elevation views and uh, I lock that down go ahead and load it in the project and we'll overwrite the existing version we'll go back to a plan view here and now I see the clearance around that particular piece of equipment so that's essentially how that would work uh, in order to uh, represent a clearance and now obviously uh, the beauty of this is if I you know run an interference check go to uh, collaborate interference check run an interference check mechanical equipment against mechanical equipment you know you're going to have then the clearances indicating that these two things are running into each other which is exactly what we're we're after